how are you guys are doing we are now going to add the LDAP authentication to Bodhi manager and what's going to happen is that we are going to create a connection between Bodhi manager is going to go all the way to port 3 and then port 3 is going to try to go to port 2 and then it's going to go all the way down to the Windows server which has an active directory that we configure on a previous video and we should be able to use those users and groups that we created in this active directory and we should be able to authenticate with active directory in 40 manager so let's go ahead and do that guys how do we do that okay let's go ahead and go to 40 manager over here we want to go into system settings and then we want to go to admin and then remote authentication what is it remote authentication server i think what it's called yeah so in here we are going to go ahead and create a new one and what do we want to create? Well, we want to create an LDAP server connection. And the name, it doesn't matter what name you give it. Um, I'm going to give it the same name as the uh, Win server, the same name as the that Windows server that is running Active Directory. And here we want to give it the IP address, which is 10.10.1.1. Uh, .10 the port that we're going to be using is going to be 389. The common name identifier, this one is going to be same account name all right and just put this you know uppercase and lowercase make sure it is good just like this sam account name and then in here for the distinguished name we are going to give it the dc equals to lab uh just lowercase actually lab comma and then dc equals to local right remember the name of our the name <coughs> the name was lab um, lab.local whenever we created that active directory and if yours is different um, go ahead and make sure that you do that how do you find that uh, let's go ahead and see if we can I think I was looking at that to show you guys how you can find your distinguished name or let me go ahead and log in over here to my Windows server so if we go into Windows um, let's open this one to trust one and if we go to manage this guy and then if we go if you right click over here um, I think I enabled the advanced features so go to yeah I did enable that how do you enable that uh, all to task nothing let me see view so view advanced features make sure that you have that checked first and then go to properties and here if we go to attribute editor and if you go to the distinguished name you can see right here mine is dc equals lab comma dc equals local so that's what you need to put right here for the distinguished name all right for the bind type uh, you can say regular uh, so in regular you need to use the user dn which is add administrator for me administrator at lab dot local and then the password is whatever password you use to log in with that user um, since it's the user that I used to you know um, in here is the admin that's what I'm going to be using and that should be it now you should be able to query yep so now you can see that you have access to active directory because you are able to query um, all of that and you can see the OU domain controllers and you can see the users so you're good to go now press OK so now we need to go ahead and create an administrator to use LDAP so we can log in to body manager how do you do that you go to admin administrator create a new one administrator in here this name needs to match to whatever user you have in 40 in active directory so we created one that was 40 manager one so the admin type is going to be LDAP and we need to select which server we are going to use to authenticate and um, we're using the win server right that we created previously on you know like a couple seconds ago and then over here you want to match users on the remote server check that and let's just make this guy a super user and press OK right don't need to enter any username and passwords here in 40 manager because it is going to use LDAP so the the 
password that you set up in Active Directory, that is what it's going to use to log into the server. Correct? All right. So now we can open this in a secure, let's make this bigger, in a secure, not in a secure one. We're going to um, log in, but we are going to use a private mode, private window. So in here, you can see that it's going to ask us to log in. So we are going to use 4T Manager 1. So now you enter the password that you configure in Active Directory, and it should let you in. Boom. There we go. So we are in. We are logging in with an Active Directory user, right? With an LDAP user. So now if you go over here and if you go to the dashboard, you're going to see that the 40 Manager 1 is logged in, right? Awesome. So, so you can delete it. Awesome. So, <clears throat> you know, if you want to add more users in here, um, let me see. Yep, log me out. Cool beans. If you want to add more users, you can just go to admin, administrator. And you can keep adding users, but you can also create a group and add it in here. You can add a group since we already created a group. If we go to Active Directory, you guys remember that we added the there's just 40 manager. We created a group called 40 manager, and the members are 40. Why isn't there anything in here? Let's go to 40 manager one. Go to member of. That's so odd. Members. I'm pretty sure I added members here. I added this. Let's go 40. Check. Let's go ahead and add them again. There we go. Apply. Okay. So now if we go to 40 manager members. We can see all these three members. Cool. Um, I thought I did that. I don't know why it wasn't there anymore, but now it is there. So what you could do is instead of adding each member one by one, what you can do is create a group and then just add all the members right to this group. So therefore we can just go to, um, 40 manager and, and instead of adding a user, we can just add an LDAP group. How do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and delete this guy first. Right, and then let's go ahead and create a new one, an administrator. And in here, we can just call this, it needs to be 40 manager, right? Just 40 manager, no 40 manager, one, two, or three. Because 40 manager is a group in Active Directory and it has as the members of, it has a member, of, the members that it has are 40 manager, one, two, and three. So we are going to do a admin type, not an admin type, uh, LDAP, right? And then we select the Windows server that makes that connection. We are going to match all users on the remote server. We can just make this a super admin. That's fine. So now it is going to try to match this username, right, in LTAP. And when it looks in LTAP, it's going to see that it is a group. And then it's going to be able to match for the manager one, two, and three. We're going to we are going to be able to log in with all the uh, members of this group. So let's go ahead and. Press OK. There we go. That group has been added in here. So now if we go into 40 Manager, we can now log into 40 Manager 2. There we go. So now we are able to log in with 40 Manager 1, 40 Manager 2, and 40 Manager 3. All right? Let's go ahead and log in with 40 Manager 3. 40 Manager 3. There we go. So we're able to log in with 40 Manager 2 and 3, and we, we are now going to try try 1. And that's because um, it is allowing the members of the 40 Manager group that we just added, or that LDAP, um, you know, the Active Directory group that we added into 40 Manager, right? It's 40 Manager, uh, 40 Manager 1. So you can see that 1 also works. And whatever user that you add now into that group in Active Directory is going to be able to authenticate into 40 Manager, right? Um, so, and what companies do is, you know, if they go into, let's go ahead and go into Active Directory. What they do is that, you know, that they create just multiple groups. Let's say like a 40 Manager read-only, 40 Manager read-and-write, and 40 Manager like super user. 
and then they use add members into it and then when they add members what they do is they just come in here and they create the group and then instead of super user you know they, they give a, a group to read only one to rewrite and one to you know use do package and another one to be a super user and then they just add users into those different groups so then we are able to you know authenticate with um, LDAP into 40 manager okay so yeah this is it for this video guys um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video how to create the remote authentication server and then how to add users and also how to add a group an LDAP group so this is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching like always bye bye